Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic, People's Proletarian Petroleum Prefecture 198. Turns out that whilst I've been mucking about, uh, faffing about with uh, tourism, our t a proud town of Jern here is actually in a bit of a death spiral. Because people can't get food, you see. Since we are, we are, we are, we are, we are in this little crutch that they're getting upset, they're quite upset, and uh, therefore their productivity goes down, and thereby we can't quite keep keep them. See 300 people waiting around here in a queue outside the shop. That's no good. And it's uh, it compounds and so on. So what what do we do? I I think that we build them yet yet another shop or a, a proper shopping center maybe. Um, yeah. Because we have to. You can get one of these too. That's a bit large <laughs> here, yes. You get uh, get rid of you truck, and we will we'll demolish um, the little the old shopping center here, which has been around for all time. Yes, and in the process of doing this, we'll, we'll also have to remodel a little bit of road network I think. Now this is only going to exa exacerbate the problem for the time being but since we are in this death spiral uh, with low productivity uh, and, and so on it's just the way it's going to be. Uh, one thing that is a bit worrying about it is that <coughs> people living here are also the ones to a large extent working at prisons and orphanages is up on the prison mountain uh, so I dare not look f I don't know f for the time being <laughs> how that's doing now none of you have access to food that live down here some of you have access to, to this one but there's 740 people waiting outside <laughs> okay Yeah, this is no good. Really, is no good. But now then, now we might have space for for a proper shopping center here in the center of town. Um, <laughs> Instead of trying to hi him along something here, you can play something from the soundtrack. Yes, now this will fit. Where we put it? We put it here, I think. Uh, or we put it the other way around, maybe. Yeah, I think that's better if if we can be allowed to do a street hook up there. That might be better. Although we, we might not be allowed a street hook up. Uh, some other infrastructure is not, but that's that is allowable. Very good. Uh, we get building on this like right now, please. And the road that we had through town that, that needs to be replaced too. I'd imagine. I mean, uh, it does something, right? Yes. There we go. That's going to take a while for them to build, and uh, meanwhile, they're not getting any happier, and they won't get happier by this. Uh, how, how is the escape? Are, are they escaping or what are they doing? Escapes. 
uh, this here. It seems like they, they might be escaping a bit. Mm. Yes. But I don't know what to do about this, because when we get in this situation where the productivity is so damn low that we can only serve 95 customers at a time, even though we are fully staffed, 55% uh, productivity, 33% productivity, and it's only going to go downhill from there on out. Unfortunately, that, that is how it is. Turn up the speed, see if we can get anywhere on this. Yeah, sits and happiness is too low. In Yarn, you don't say. Which building in particular? This one. 48%. <clears throat> but we do have two adults living with their parents. Yeah, and people are growing up all the time. So if these people decide to leave, they, they get fed up uh, because they don't get fed, for example. We, we will have fresh stock to come in and replace them. And they they might have better productivity and therefore might be able to actually keep up with demand. I hope. This is not going great, this. This and his health is too low too now. It's... Uh, uh, here. Average lifespan of 48 years, okay. Not, not, not great. Oh, this is terrible, in fact. But uh, they're building on this, and uh, we might, uh, we can, might as well turn up the maximum number of workers from uh, that just walk in off the street to maximum, so that we can utilize whatever little productivity we have here which isn't like a whole lot uh, I think what might have set this off uh, is that we built this up here and uh, they um, it overloaded the town's uh, ability to, to take care of food and shopping shopping requirements to their look the prison uh, we don't have that many wardens but we also not do not have that many prisoners so we might be fine however uh, this is not good orphanages orphanages this is, is there are 57 children without appropriate upbringing in this one and uh, I'd imagine that it is looking rather much the same all over the board. Yes, that is it. And the productivity is it. But there was one with 122% productivity, must have recently moved in from somewhere. This is not great. <laughs> uh, you won't be done for, for quite a while, and neither will this street. Ah, we're uh, we're paving it. Yeah, that bit is, is rather quick, getting the gravel in and getting the asphalt on. But then the goddamn streetlights, they take forever to put in. 
And they need a bit of gravel and they need a bit of electrical components and they need a little bit of steel and a little bit of asphalt. And also workers to do it. So that's why it takes a while for, for all of those things to, to come together in such a fashion. Yeah, so this was not about tourism then. No, this is about uh, trying to save Jaren. You can set a notification to notify us when, when that building is, is finished and go and have a look at the tourism because I've gone sort of all in on the tourism now and built every single piece of uh, thing that they could be require, I think. Uh, little doctor's office uh, because they get sick sometimes the tourists and they need six tourists were not able to enjoy culture really uh, I also adjusted the pricing a bit so, so it's real cheap to go to to the pub and and to the restaurant but it is damned expensive to, to eat at the hotel, maybe. That's how it works. And it's also extremely expensive if you want to go here and buy any any of our electronics. Uh, it's, it's, it's to the maximum. Uh, that's how it is. Electronics are expensive. These attractions, though, they don't seem very popular. The, um, we could turn turn the price down on those as well. Just the accommodation, then that is expensive, maybe. The accommodation and shopping is extremely expensive. Uh, but food, drink, uh, is more or less on the house, on the on the prefecture. Soon they'll have a place to pray. Average trip rating of 3.0. Oh. But we'll have to leave the tourists uh, as they are now because the, the yarn requires our attention. Can't do a whole lot about it. This is just finished. Fantastic. Uh, jiggle about the the inventory here a bit so that we keep food primarily uh, yes and we find the refrigeration truck again there you go there it is Volvo F10 very nice you go there and you unload and you wait until you are unloaded and then we take the distribution office that does this one and you add we add this one to, to its list of duties. Mm, uh, 30%? No, I don't think so. 70%. Now we have 650 people standing around here. Uh, no one is standing around here, though. That's because there are no uh, items to, to get. And then they won't queue. But soon there will be meat. However, the productivity here is like 30% across the board, more or less. Uh, so I don't know if we'll be able to recover from this. In Yarn, we might, but you see we're starting to get free flats now. Quite a few. But as people are growing up, uh, they will move here with a hopefully better outlook on life and better productivity. And as such, times come uh, will also be better and rebound here. Clothing was the first thing you, you brought. So now you bring electronics, maybe food you should think about. There you go, food.
That's good. We're keeping up. Yes, but the, if you have uh, 200 people standing around here, it's going to not be very long until we have an unmanageable queue outside of this one, I don't think. Streets finished. Great. There is an overlay tool now for city planning overlays. Say food. Does does all residential buildings have access to food? Yes, they do. Meat. Yes, they have access to that too. Clothing, electronics. Yes. Heating. Yeah, they're good on that as well. Electricity. Access to education. A bit uncertain of how to how to interpret it. Yeah. This one can probably not walk up to, to there. It's too far away. Yes, but it's, it's all right, really. You don't need to have a degree to, to work in the iron mine or as a prison warden. Now it's quite all right. Okay, so you see, okay, the happiness is down to... <laughs> Down to like 30-40% something average productivity in the town is 43% but it was 42 when I opened up the window so it's going up. It says not enough accountants and officers to show the stats yet, yet the stats are showing but we have fully staffed but they are so unproductive that it doesn't help but the stats are showing. I don't know what to make of that quite. No, we still don't have a queue outside this one. Very good. Yeah, the price level doesn't matter for, for the for our own citizens. But I think it has some I've read somewhere that it has something to do with um, a more expensive place they they'll uh, not prefer. They'll they'll prefer a cheaper place over an expensive place. And this one doesn't have a price level at all. So maybe they prefer this one over this one. I don't know. We lower it down to, to, to as low as possible just to be safe. Safe. Just to do something. Yeah, we definitely lost the population. 53,000. I wonder if it was that uh, building, those residential buildings up on the mountain that set this in motion, or if it was something else that they, they, they ran out of meat or they ran out of something for a while, maybe, perhaps. I'm just I'm speculating now uh, about what could have gone wrong. Uh, satiation is not that bad, though you want it up here, yes. They're not turning to drink though. Uh, yes, they are, but uh, the guests are without service because the productivity is so damn low. Hmm. However, I'm yeah, 47% productivity now. It is increasing significantly. And here, oh god damn it, 300 patients waiting for treatment. Can we do anything about that? Yeah, we, we'll, we max out the staffing we can do, but it's only going to do so much. I think. But yeah, whatever. We, 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 we try as we might. Uh, oh. We have a little problem with the doctor's office at, at the, the tourism place. Where where are, where are we? Here. Uh, because you can't bring fuel to this little doctor's office and its ambulance is out of fuel and uh, the, therefore I'm building this gas station. I thought it would have been finished by now, but the, so it's not the case. You need 4.4 tons of steel to do it. That is not yet loaded onto the truck, but be. Uh, meanwhile, 
Uh, I don't feel that we're getting enough tourists in here. Uh, we should have more tourists and therefore a second aeroplane. I uh, don't know if it's the best thing to, to do it as we have here, that it goes uh, both, both goes to, to western and and eastern countries. Hello, can I can I click you please? Yes. Uh, because we could make it so that uh, it does this this does, this only goes to western countries, say, and uh, we'll buy another plane that that will go to go to eastern countries, and we we might even buy a Russian plane. Then, uh, an air something that Aeroflot used to fly, maybe. And uh, since we don't get that many p passengers anyway, it's it's all right. Total capacity: the TU one five four, or the supersonic one. Ah, there you go. You go to, to the Soviets and you load people up there and then you go to, to the touristy place. This might even actually fit in one of the smaller um, parkings. Yes, I know, it's because it is engaged. Not a bad looking plane, this neither. No? See, can we find the control tower? There is the control tower, it is occupied. Whenever it says it's non-occupied, we'll hit this button. And uh, it shouldn't be unoccupied pretty soon. Unless the, the, there we go. No. Why? Come on. Plane, get moving. It says it's, uh, it's ready. There you go. Exporting train is making its way past here with 2160 tons of fuel. And the construction train is heading out, building the little tour railroad. Oh, very nice, that too. These, these by the way, these trains, uh, they are. are or taken care of by a train distribution office. The train distribution office has fuel for the trains, but it doesn't seem to fuel up the trains unless they are very low. So they end up using the train diesel stations, and they're not supposed to, because uh, doing that with such long trains will um, inevitably be blocking certain roads, uh, which will be better off not blocking. Yeah, there we have it. Uh, going to have a, a little check up on how they're doing coming with the rail construction. They made it to here. This end and, uh, and from the other end. Quite a bit to go. And there are bridges and things. Oh, they finished this bridge. Very good. Is this next in queue? But they're, they're on it, right? They're on it. Yes. So, uh, let's... You got 64 tourists there. T154. Uh, let's head over to Jär again uh, and make sure that uh, make sure see how they're doing rather 
<laughs> if the if this situation is salvageable or what. Yeah, well, this seems to be keeping up quite well, in fact. We don't have a queue of people, so people should be a lot happier, and they are. Productivity is going up too. Uh, government loyalty is, is not great. Uh, 56%. Ah, okay, that's not very bad. Um, then, and this one, this shop, yeah, they're keeping up. And they can even walk to, to this shopping center from that bus pl platform. Very good. Because that's where, where people living up on the mountain here come uh, every now and then unless they can can get place on the cable car uh, cable car by the way yes cable car uh, cable car here uh, passengers unless you get the place on 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 that yeah you indeed go to to the bus stop very good and yeah we have this too we have an, a bus end station here. How many buses on on this line? Many. <laughs> many. Hopefully enough. Sits and happiness uh, too low. Yes, you keep you keep reminding me about this, but uh, I can't really do a whole lot more. Now that we, we're providing for them all they need, really. 33 citizens were unable to visit the pub or tavern. Some guests are without service at the pub or tavern, although it is pretty much reachable from all over, over the town. Uh, you can look at the overlay for the city planning thing. Alcohol, is it anyone that is not within range of the pub? No. No one is out of range of the pub. And they also have uh, this one. Where there is plenty of... Uh, plenty of free place for them. Uh, this might also be something we should lower the, the price level to make sure that they, they, they put it on equal terms as, as the old classic pub here. Yes, but happiness is rising and productivity is rising too. So whatever it was that set it off it is fixed now and they'll recover, I think. Are we getting any more tourists in here now? 312 tourists. One tourist were not able to enjoy culture. The only way to enjoy culture is really to watch the television. Uh, they seem to prefer to eat out rather than at at the hotel now. Maybe we should have a bit more staffing here. Uh, still, you still haven't gotten... Yeah, you have gotten the steel, but you have not gotten any workforce in. That's because they can't walk to it from, from here, so they need to bring a bus. Are they bringing a bus? No, they're not bringing a bus. Why not? Why aren't you bringing a bus to this place? Ah, I can help you along maybe. Let's see if I can do something like this. How are you now within walking range of... ...of the... No, you're not. Are you now within walking range of the yes, your cableway station? Great, because you have the resources, just need workers. And it's 54 workdays remaining, should be good. People are walking there to, to build it, very good. This is about to be done too. I don't know why they weren't sending a bus. Now they are sending a bus. Uh, damn it. And the, and the crane too. We don't need the crane. It's 54 work days to finish it. Uh, the, they'll be done before you, you get the crane here, I think.
So this is what we have then for tourism. We have a uh, restaurant, side tower, ferris wheel, autodrome, doesn't seem very popular. Surprise carousel, doesn't seem very popular that neither. Pub, the cafe bar number two, uh, doesn't seem very popular. Uh, average trip rating of 3.2. Uh, it's gone up a bit and we could make it go up like a whole lot by, by just lowering the price here, but no. Accommodation and shopping is expensive as hell. Uh, going out to eat and drink is cheap, extremely cheap. But is this uh, second plane that, that, that we had, is that really helping anything? Or should we get uh, yet another plane? <laughs> and we can fit a thousand of them in here. Ah, here it comes. 79 tourists. Da, 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 da. And you are indeed able to park at one of these smaller ones. That's good. Right then. Not finished. Uh, gas station is finished and just need to get some fuel to it and the ambulance should be able to take care of tourists that are so bad off that they can't drag their way over to, to the doctor's office. One doctor, we have three staff. And he, he or she, uh, Theodora. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, if that is a he or she. Uh, but uh, in, in either case, the, the he or she can take care of four patients. And that, that's plenty, maybe. Now we have almost half the capacity. Should we max this out? Yeah, we max it out. And we should be able to, to accommodate about a thousand people. You have a, a productivity of 42% for some reason. Uh, I don't know why. Your government loyalty is most likely very low. What did we do to you? Or did you grow up in an orphanage maybe? Could be. This autodrome seems rubbish. No one wants to go even though it is practically free. Economy and trade. Uh, just before we end here. Uh, okay, no, 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 we don't. Have, this is a double feature. This will be about 40 minutes. Affiliates have been notified now. Shops and restaurants. Uh, this year they've spent seven and a half million dollars uh, in hotels. 821,000. That's two... Not enough rides and traffic, six and a half million. Carousels, four and a half thousand. <laughs> Pools and beaches, three, uh, okay. Cafe bars, a hundred. Theatres and cinemas, 28. How, how do they even manage? Hmm, they might actually, wait a minute here now. From here? Yes, they can walk down to the opera house. So if you really want to very fine culture. Yeah, you should be able to make your way. But you want to, you want to pray, most of you. Uh, we, we have, we have a, a solution coming for you. <sighs> yes. Well, it would be nice to see a few tourists in here. But that, mean, that means I don't need to build a, a dedicated... Uh, 
Luxembourg culture building up here, they can walk down to there from the bus stop. If they just go to the bus stop seeking seeking anything else but prayer, uh, which they're not. The, the no, but how many tourists were unable to? No tourists were unable to get uh, get culture. Oh, the, the television station is taken care of. It. Then again, if you are on vacation, would you really want to sit in in your hotel room and watch uh, television when there is an opera house down here? Can uh, lower the price of it, maybe. Do, yeah. It's of domestic people living in Utopia, flown in on the, the T-144. This time, 57 additional tourists to bring. Okay. With 420 accommodated tourists now. And... Ambulance. Do, do you have any fuel yet? No. Still haven't been able to get fuel into this place, but it's it's coming. They have three tankers on the, on their way up the hill. Not at the greatest greatest of speeds, but it is pretty damn steep. Uh, it's doing 80 with uh, 27 tons of fuel over this bumpy gutter piece of crap road. So. Nothing to complain about here, I don't think. We should be plenty satisfied with this. But I'm not quite plenty satisfied with, with my new computer, not new computer, new motherboard, CPU and RAM. I was expecting maybe a little bit more of the performance increase because now we're down to like 30 FPS again. Okay, it's a lot better and smoother than it, than it was, but it's 10 years between the old processor and the new one. 10 years. Yes. Sure, this one has 12 cores and the old one only had four. It doesn't matter for this workload because it can only utilize two cores. I don't have to be so stringent about closing down other applications whilst it's uh, whilst doing this because it can do a whole lot of other things simultaneously. Yes, but God damn it, game makers! You have to realize that that single thread performance is not going anywhere. Multi-thread is is the way. And it's the way it's been for since oh, since the Core Two Duo processor was released, almost when Intel gave up on the Pentium Four netburst architecture. Hopeless, out of power hungry thing um, yes are you spending quite a bit of money here to, to buy your electronics very good we uh, we do put quite a bit of effort into making those speaking of which yeah, I don't think that we're still not self-sufficient on the electronics, uh, unfortunately, this year. We're not. We're actually buying as we speak. Uh, and wood, yeah, I forgot to replant the forest. This is very often the case. Uh, but we, it, at least we have a working import system for, for situations just like that. Which is excellent. Uh, Electron, but we should we build a whole gut down to the second electro complex, the third electro complex, uh, just like the one we did here. No, that's not it. Uh, yes, it is. Just that you're looking at it from an unfamiliar perspective. Three and a half thousand tons of wood in the forest, very good. Uh, how is it that you do this uh, copy area again? You can do that, right? Clone copy area. Yeah, uh, sure, one of this. Not quite all of it. But some. 
Uh, this is certainly not going to crash the game. <laughs> now we're down to two and a half frames per second. Uh, and we're even to put this... No, no, never mind. <laughs> we can't copy that. Uh, that will be... If we set up a similar thing again, we'll be overproducing instead. Yeah, but that's better still. Yes, but where to put it? Uh, Utopia. What's the unemployment rate like here? Do you have... No. 15,000 uh, productive age workers and uh, 400 thereabouts are unemployed. So we can take a whole lot more workforce out of this place. Not without putting up more buildings. And uh, no. Then we, we have all the silly... All the silly st stuff here. Then we have plenty of workforce. So if anything, one could uh, one could build a electro complex out here, but then we have to transport it. Yeah, we can transport it on the aeroplane, maybe. Hmm. That's an idea. Say uh, we, we just say for, for 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 down here. Say we could have electro complex, and the people of this town could work there, maybe. Uh, put in a bus platform and uh, and drive them down down the mountain via one of these fantastic uh, bus end station things. I really go into doing doing this. I don't know quite yet. Uh, see how how it we feel about it bit later on maybe but you, you need to level the terrain from from where the road is there's enough space for a bus platform proper one that is hmm, possibly possibly bus platform road cargo station for people yes reverse or Mirror it can't build it infrastructure. Yes, you can. Like real close. Just need a bit more space then. Will that be enough? Road cargo, sta road cargo station. Yes. Platform. construction to it and then we could uh, a bus end station we put that into whilst we're at it a depot bus end station large here yeah here that sound yeah down here could be could well be a, a place to, to 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 do it and um, have a ship have a warehouse um, of this warehouse for example is filled with elect electrical components and mechanical components we could could do that but it's yeah quite the logistical challenge to get it all hooked up and set up and so on and it's not flat terrain by any means this which is which we need if we want to to be able if we want to do like complicated setups regarding regarding uh, in, uh, industries advanced industries uh, we don't have any wood down here we don't have any anything down here no, that's probably why I've been a bit reluctant to do, to do this out here. 
Yes, but we don't have any workforce available anywhere else. And I'm not growing Utopia more than, than what it already is. Is this enough space, you think? Yes, I rather think so. But that's, that's for a later date. Uh, for now then, uh, I think I thank you so very much. Let's see how they're doing. 384. But the average trip rating is going up. 3.3. That's good. Can we get a graph on that? How, how that's doing? We can. Um, say if when we started on this. It wasn't that long ago, really. It was like in January, February or something. Mm, it's it's maybe gone up ever so slightly. <laughs> ever, ever so slightly. And now we put in all these things. Yeah, you have current uh, tourists are going here to pray. You should be happy now. Do you have anything else that we have not satisfied? 29 tourists were unable to visit church or place of spirituality, yes, but that's old news because now you you have that. Uh, one is sick here to the point where they need a, um, a transport by ambulance. You're, you already have gotten it. You're being treated at the doctor's office. Very good. And now we can remove this uh, this awful put off here, this mud mud business. No, don't need it anymore. Um, has there ever been anyone in in the autodrome or at this carousel? At least uh, the restaurant is popular because it's so goddamn expensive to eat at the hotel and it's it's free there. Yeah, uh, is it is it like the fifth time I say that in just in this one? Quite possibly. Uh, one more thing. One more thing. How is Yarn doing? How is Yarn doing? Seventy-five percent average productivity. Yes, we're bouncing back. The population is supposed to be around 7,000 or something here. We're down to 5,076. But well, what can you do? Um, if you look at the average productivity here, uh, there are those uh, that have like 30%. And there are those that have 123%. And everything in between. Uh, but we are keep keeping up with demand, which is the important business and important stuff, important thing. Uh, and we're also falling behind on education for them as well. Yeah. What can you do? Uh, the, yes, ag again, the important bit is that Jaren is, is now getting better again. Iron ore processors. Uh, you know, one thing I've been thinking about is, uh, how is this doing? No, it's not going, doing great. Uh, we don't have enough prison labor in the mines. But if you were to have more prison labor in the mines, could put in yet another iron ore processor here, maybe, somewhere. Uh, and get even more iron to process. With this, we can send uh, the whole town into this mine and, uh, and process the iron or into iron and sell for, for decent money maybe I don't know is it worthwhile this year how much have we sold 90 million and 1.388 billion of bitumen uh, 1.352 billion of fuel and 0.891 billion of oil but after that, iron is is uh, next in line with 90 million. Steel, not quite worth it. But it's uh, since we need steel, we we we, we sell sell what whatever's left over. 
you know, to get uh, uh, more iron processors in here though is going to be a little bit messy. Uh, the way it works is uh, people somehow are forced to walk to here and then they can can work it at various iron processors. Uh, that is an, that has an exit that way. Yes, but if you want to do this, might as well get like two of them. Oh, we don't have any. We don't have enough excavators. Okay, so th there are a few things that we could do next time. I either do the second, third electro making thing. Or we could do this tour that I've been speaking about for quite some time now. Or we could develop even more iron processing here in Jaren for the 199th installment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I think a tour is in order. Thank you so very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, cheers.